What's good y'all? Welcome back to my channel, Chrissy Talks. Y'all can call me Chrissy. And let's go ahead and jump into this crazy ass story. LaShante Jones was a beautiful 24-year-old mother and TSA worker when she was shot and killed outside her Miami apartment on May 3rd, 2021. Outside of her Coral Bay Cove apartment in Miami, surveillance footage shows a man in a black hoodie exiting a gray 2019 Nissan and began shooting while LaShante was with her three-year-old daughter, allegedly holding her. Her daughter later had to be airlifted to the hospital however she was in stable condition and that's one of the parts that really frustrates me the most is the fact that she was with her three-year-old daughter if she was holding her that's even worse because you really risked killing a child for this murder and this is why i always think back to how things were back in the day even though there was still violence in the streets children elderly and women that were outside of the situation were not touched so i just think that it's very corny that the shooter shot at her knowing that her daughter was with her now let's go ahead and talk about the events leading up to lashante's death 2016 33 year old jasmine martinez was arrested and charged with battery for two attacks on lashante during this time, LaShante was actually with Jasmine's ex-boyfriend. However, the charges were ultimately dropped. It really makes me wonder because there were two attacks on LaShante. The fact that the charges were dropped gives me a theory that maybe LaShante dropped these charges because let's say she took her boyfriend while he was still in a relationship with Jasmine. Maybe it was one of those cases where it's like, I understand why you beat my ass, so I'm going to drop these charges. I don't know. But I just thought it was interesting that the charges were dropped after Jasmine attacked her two times. And it wasn't only just those two times because two years later in 2018, Jasmine was charged and arrested again for another attack on LaShante. This is where it's already getting crazy because this is happening two years, two years after the first attack. So it's like, what is the beef? You know what I mean? Now keep up with me because another two years after that incident, LaShante would show up to testify and she reported that in the courthouse parking lot, two men allegedly robbed and held her at gunpoint. Now, one of those men was actually later identified to be Jasmine's ex-boyfriend and baby daddy, Kelly Nelson. Later on, after LaShante's death, detectives would look through Jasmine's phone calls. And one year after LaShante went to trial, in February of 2021, phone call records show that she was on the phone with her ex-boyfriend, Kelly Nelson, while he was in jail. And she reportedly stated over the phone that she was, quote unquote, ready to kill this hoe and that Jasmine needed to, quote unquote, die. Around the time of the calls were placed, LaShante was actually stating that she was being harassed and bribed to not testify against Kelly Nelson and his accomplice. Obviously, we can guess at this point that it might have been Jasmine or an associate of Jasmine who've reached out to LaShante in an attempt to not have her testify against Jasmine's ex-boyfriend and baby father. It was either in 2020 or in 2021, but I believe it was in 2021 that Jasmine got into a new relationship, 33-year-old Romeo Robinson, and he would be the one to connect Jasmine from jail to 29 year old Javon Carter's. Now Javon Carter's phone had been tracked to LaShante's apartment days leading up to the day that she died and even on the day that she died. Phone records also show that Javon Carter's was in communication with Jasmine at least 127 times before LaShante passed away. And their phone records show that they immediately met up after LaShante's death. And Javon was later reported seeing on social media with large amounts of money with the caption saying another day of hard work. And this is the reason why not only is it corny to be on social media flashing your money, but it's also very incriminating to be flashing your money, your drugs, your guns. Now not only was Javon seen with large amounts of money, but Jasmine's bank statements also showed series of withdrawals that led up to over $10,000. Jasmine obtained all this money because she was able to receive a PPP loan, which is a pandemic pandemic relief fund for her single employee beauty shop. I'm assuming that she is the single employee. But what makes the situation even more ghetto and not Ashante's death is ghetto but like this whole thing going on with Jasmine's crazy ass is the fact that she allegedly used this PPP loan to pay off the hitman to kill Lashante. Now get this, she actually posted this the day after Lashante's death and she said, pray for the family instead of playing detective and assassinating people's character. No matter what differences you and another person may have been through in the past, that isn't worth death. I'm a mother before I'm anything, and I'm also a mother who knows the feeling of losing a child. I serve one God and one God only. 
He sits high and looks low. Well, he is looking the lowest at you, child. Trust and believe judgment day is near and everyone will answer to their sins. My children are hurting more than ever and instead of me reacting to the opinions of others, it won't help me to be there for them as I should. My condolence goes out to anyone who is grieving the loss of a loved one and most definitely Shantae. And I pray her baby girl gets well. Be blessed. Save your friend request. Pray, pray, pray. So you guys already know that that was just batshit crazy. Knowing that she was the one at this point to have called this hit on LaShante. So it's crazy that she was trying to come at people playing detective, but they were doing it rightfully so because they felt like, especially when y'all passed, they had enough to feel like you was the one who had something to do with LaShante's murder. And they was right. So all that shit about being a mother and praising the Lord Jesus and shit just goes right down the, the fucking drain. I don't know what she posted that status. God was like, uh-uh, bitch, I am not on your side for this one. Now, all three, Javon Carter's, Romeo Robinson and Jasmine Martinez have been charged with first-degree murder. Jasmine and Romeo are facing the additional charge of conspiracy to commit first-degree murder, and all three are looking at the death penalty, which is still a capital punishment in Florida to this day. But y'all, this situation, like I said, is just completely ghetto because it's the fact that their beef started six years ago, and it's the fact that Jasmine has three different ex-boyfriends and boyfriends involved in some type of situation with LaShante. The first ex-boyfriend was with LaShante, and that's what fueled her first attack on her. In the second attack with LaShante, Jasmine used her ex-boyfriend and baby daddy, which is dumb because why you even like, first of all, I don't understand what was the reasoning behind the attack in the first place. The only sense it would make is that she was still mad at her ex-boyfriend that was with LaShante, but that was two years prior, so I don't know if something else happened in between then, but it's like, there's no way you're still targeting this girl two years after. And with your new boyfriend at the time, like, what sense does it make to have your current boyfriend rob and hold a girl at gunpoint because she's with your ex-boyfriend from two years ago you know what i mean like something's not adding up because we could argumentably say that she ended up having lashante killed so she wanted to testify against her baby daddy but what was the excuse to have her held at gunpoint in the first place because that is the whole reason why she's testifying you know it really makes me feel bad for lashante because essentially she was dealing with this woman for the past six years leading up to the last day that she was alive. Again, it just makes me so mad. And the reason why I feel like this situation is ghetto because it sounds like it was petty as fuck. And it's like, you know, like she knew, Jasmine knew that it was petty because she made a whole post about this shit. Like, just because we have problems in the past doesn't mean, you know, I wish death on her or whatever the case. Like, you look crazy and you're a mother on top of that. So you had no business risking your baby daddy in that 2018 attack and yourself with this murder for hire plot. And again, she had three different boyfriends that we know of that's been involved with LaShante in some type of way. It's really just like, girl, move the fuck on with your life. Like, why were we still assaulting and harassing this woman two years after the first attack? And the charges were dropped, so your ass was lucky that she didn't continue on to press charges, so your ass wouldn't be in jail. Like, again, the shit is so petty, and the fact that she's a mother herself, and she had this shit go down while LaShante was with her daughter, like, even though Jasmine wasn't there, LaShante being a mother to a four-year-old, of course, you're risking the four-year-old being there. So it's like, fuck being a mom, because you took away this other mother and risked her child getting killed as well. But yeah, this is just a sad and disgusting situation, like, you know, it just really doesn't even make any sense. I don't understand what this did for Jasmine except put more people, including herself, in jail where she belongs. But like, I'm really not understanding LaShante's death and why I had to get to that point when Jasmine set this whole shit up, starting from that robbery in the parking lot. Like, what was her beef with LaShante, you know what I mean? Because it's giving obsessed at this point. But y'all, that is the end of my video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down what you guys think below. Follow me on Instagram, I'm on Snapchat at Chrissy Talks and H.Chrissy, Chrissy, two S's, two Y's. I love and appreciate you guys, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.